Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of How To Tuesdays with NAP Training. This video is in response to an email I got from a client of mine asking me about Word templates. So let's get into a couple of the questions about Word templates in Office 2010. First of all is the why. Uh, normally you would create a Word DOC or DOCX file and that would allow you to create uh, text and pictures and graphics and things like that. But unfortunately if you do that then every time that you need to make the same type of document you're going to be repeating yourself for a large portion of the document because there's a lot of things that are common between one document and the next. So what we want to do is create a template file instead of a document file. Now how are we going to go ahead and accomplish that? Basically what it comes down to is creating the parts of the file that are the same across the board and then saving it as a template file instead of a document file. We're not going to be creating the parts of the file that are not consistent, that are different from file to file, instead just the parts that are consistent. So let's take a look at how you do something like that. First thing we do is we open up Microsoft Word and then we make whatever changes we feel are going to be consistent across the documents. Maybe I change the margins, maybe I change the page borders, maybe I change the fonts. Now after I change the font size and things like that, again here at this point I've set, up my, I set myself up for success so I go to File Save As and instead of saving it as a document instead I choose the template file option. Now you'll see that there are two different template file options here macro enabled and non macro enabled. Basically if you see yourself using macros in the future make sure that you use macro enabled. And the benefit here is after I save this file, what happens is I can go to my desktop, double click, and it opens up this document. But what happens when I go to File Open? If I go to File Open and I choose that template file, then what you'll actually notice is it doesn't open up a brand new document anymore. Instead what it does is it opens up the template itself and people would then be editing the template. And that's maybe not what we want. So what are we going to do to resolve this issue? We need to put this template file into a spot that we can go back to and reuse from within Microsoft Word. Now where is that spot? Now that spot, interestingly enough, is at a ridiculously long address. It's uh, C and then users and then whatever your username is and then um, the term app data and then roaming and then Microsoft and yada 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 here. Okay, so how exactly do we make this happen? And remember, you can always go back in that video and, and check where that thing is. Let's go ahead and see what it would look like to actually get to that spot. Here what I'm going to do is go to the start menu in the bottom left hand corner of my screen and start typing in C colon slash app data. Excuse me, C colon slash users slash whatever my username is, in this case Steve Rogers, slash app data. Now interestingly here, after I type in app data, I can just hit enter if I want. And then you see roaming, and then you see Microsoft, and then you see templates. Now if I click and drag into this folder, what will happen is it will move the file into this folder. Instead, I might want to make a second copy. So if I hold down the control key instead of just clicking and dragging, it will copy instead of move. And now I've got one on the desktop and I've got one in the folder there. So I can still double click the icon on the desktop, create a new file from that template, and I can also go to File New. You see here I've got an option that says My Templates, and because I've put it in that file location, you see that there's testtemplate.dotm. I can simply choose it and hit OK, and again, I'm using that template to create a new file. 